Stacia, thank you. Well, more legal trouble for former President Donald Trump this midday. A New York judge ruled Trump and his adult sons committed financial fraud for years as leaders of the Trump Organization. That immediately counsels the real estate company's business certificates in New York State. Rena Roy has the details. As former President Donald Trump continues to hold wide leads among the Republican field seeking to win the White House, his list of legal troubles is adding up. Last night, a New York judge ruling that he and his adult sons, Don Jr. and Eric, committed years of financial fraud, inflating the net worth of the Trump Organization's assets by as much as $2.2 billion. This judge is saying, Donald Trump loses resoundingly on this question of fraud. Judge Arthur N. Gorin found Trump valued his Mar-a-Lago estate 20 times higher than its actual worth, $600 million compared to the assessed value of $27 million. The judge also saying 40 Wall Street, another Trump property, is worth $200 million, but the Trump organization valued it at more than $500 million. Allegedly the same situation with his Trump Tower apartment, the judge saying Trump Trump tripled its square footage, claiming 30,000 square feet, but really it's 11,000, according to the judge. In his ruling, and Gorin saying a discrepancy of this order of magnitude by a real estate developer sizing up his own living space of decades can only be considered fraud. The case was brought by New York Attorney General Letitia James last year when she sued Trump, his eldest sons, and his company for $250 million. Within Gorin's ruling, he determined that there's no need to hear testimony and evidence at the civil trial set to begin next week. Basically what the judge has done is reviewed the documents in the case and said, this is all I need. This is a documents case. It is clear that there was fraud here. In a statement, James saying she looks forward to presenting the rest of our case at trial. Donald Trump is vowing to appeal the ruling, calling the judge and the attorney general Trump hating. Trump has also sought to delay the start of the trial, and a decision from an appeals court could come as early as tomorrow. If it starts next week, the trial will determine how much the Trumps will have to pay. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.